Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? It has been a while. I, li I miss you guys. I love you guys so much. But there just hasn't been much content. But today's video, you guys are going to love it. Um, we got an article pretty much coming out talking about Dane Lillard possibly coming to the Miami Heat once again. Yes, you heard it. Dane Lillard rumors back to the Miami Heat. And I know we talked about this all last postseason. It was pretty annoying. It was draining. Um, and then obviously we never got him. He got traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. But it looks like a new report's coming out. So we're going to talk about it in today's video. But before we do start to in today's video, if you guys just enjoy Miami Heat content, just want to stay updated with all the Miami Heat content for this upcoming season, drop that smash, you know, drop that subscribe button, turn on notifications, comment, like, all that good stuff, just to keep, you know, stay updated with the Miami Heat. I appreciate that, guys, so, so much. Now, we all know Dame Lillard is still a great talent. Is he getting older? Yes. Is he getting, is he dealing with more injuries? Yes. But at the end of the day, the dude's still averaging about 24 points a game, averaging seven assists, and still played 73 games played out of 82. That's more than Jimmy Butler, and he's at least he's out there trying, even with all the stuff that he got going on um, for family. I believe he was going through a divorce and a bunch of other stuff. So he was still going out there, and also he had like a kind of disagreement with his head coach and Doc Rivers at the time. So there was a lot of stuff that was happening to Dane Lillard, but he stayed professional and still went out there and tried to do his best. And that's one thing I can respect about Dane Lillard because it doesn't matter what's got going on. He knows this is his job. He knows they traded for him to win a championship. Now, the reason why this article is getting brought back up again is because the, if you look at it, the Miami Heat and the Milwaukee Bucks are kind of similar. Like they both deal with injuries Besides the coaching staff, you know, Milwaukee have a new coaching staff. Um, not only that, some of their players are getting lost, and, you know, we could say that too. Um, they also made a big move for Dame. We made a big move for Terry Rozier. So it's like we kind of got some, um, you know, some similarities. So the reason why I'm saying is, like, if the Bucks struggle, the Miami Heat may look back at it. But to be honest with you guys, I don't think it's smart because why would we want Dame Lillard if we traded for Terry Rozier? Is Terry Rozier going to be part of the trade heading to Milwaukee? Then that makes sense, right? Because then we don't have to have both of those players on the same team. Now, say if they're not, just a thought that just came to my mind was, okay, then maybe we have Dame Lillard and Terry Rozier. Would that work out? I'm not too sure, but what you could do is you could put Terry Rozier coming off your bench. You trade Tyler Hero, part of the Dame Lillard trade to Milwaukee, and I honestly would like that lineup a lot. To have Dame as your starting point guard and then to have Terry as your backup 1-2, I think that would make your team actually 10 times better because Terry Rozier is a starter in this league. He came off the bench before, and also him coming off the bench, he could play his full role him being a starter him playing with tyler he's not going to be the terry rosier that we traded for him not getting nine threes a game him averaging 20 plus points a game no he has to play as a team more and i'm not saying he has to play he's not going to do that when he's coming off the bench but it's his bench unit so i think it makes perfect sense to have a dame lillard to have a jimmy butler in a bam not only you have a jaime you still have a kalal Weir. i'm willing to trade a tyler with a yovich and maybe a first round pick in 2027 or 2028 to make this happen because the jimmy butler ever is ending real soon if it's not ending after this season it's ending after the next season i don't think we give jimmy butler a contract extension and only way i'm doing this trade only way i'm doing this trade if the miami Heat are competitive if we're not competitive it makes no sense we only got to be competitive i told you guys if we're not competitive let's trade jimmy butler Let's go get these first round picks. Let's go build with these young guys. We still have one of the best coaches in the league and we can still be a playing team. And I still think we'll give a lot of team competition because these guys are going to develop. They're going to grow because they're on the court consistently. You get what I'm trying to say? So there's two different sides of it. We got to see if the Bucks struggle and if the Bucks struggle or the Bucks willing to trade Dame Lillard because, you know, he's on a big contract make, making 50 million per year. Um, so we got to see with that. I highly doubt the muck, the Bucks want to trade Dame. You don't just trade for a superstar player and give up in a couple of years. That just doesn't happen. So you guys let us know in the comment section what you guys think and follow for more Miami content. Peace.